Hello scrapbook.com peeps, it's Vicki Booten here and I'm going to mix some of my favorite things about the holidays, glitter and gold and sparkly things into a mixed media background that I'm going to use for a layout, but you could use it on a card, you could use it on a tag, you could use it on an altered project, in your art journal, whatever you want to do. It's just art made easy with a couple of uh, simple tools and some scrapbook.com exclusive items. And it's going to be lots of fun and I can't wait to show you the steps and I can't wait to see what you make with it as well. So let's go. Okay, I've gathered up all my goodies. I'm going to use foundations paper as a base just because it will hold wet mediums well. So I have that here. I am going to use a sheet of plastic. It's my tool to um, apply ink. I'm going to use it as a mix mixing palette. I have a scrapbook.com stencil because this will be perfect for candy cane stripes. I have some gold ink. So the new uh, gold metallic ink from scrapbook.com. I have a paintbrush. I have a mister. And then I have some festive berries, distress oxide, and an ink blending foam, and some glitter, some washi tape or painter's tape, and then some matte acrylic gel. So I squeezed in there somewhere. So let's get started. We're going to start by doing um, a fun kissing technique, and then we're going to layer and do a few other steps. So it's about three steps. We're going to do some kissing, we're going to do some inking, and then we're going to do contained glitter, and we're going to have this really fun background. So let's get started. For the first step, I'm going to add some gold. This ink is a delicious. When you put it on here, I'm just putting it on, kissing it onto my um, little piece of plastic, but it's water soluble, which I discovered through playing with it, that if I add some water and blend it, I can get this really pretty sparkly gold pattern out of it. So I'm just going to kiss it to my background. So my first layer is just going to be this really yummy gold watercolor. And you know, if you follow me at all, I call this the kissing technique just because we're kissing it to the page. And then you can add some more um, ink onto your sheet of plastic and mist it and put some drops and then let this completely dry. So it's your first layer is going to be this beautiful gold background. Okay, just finish that up and let it dry. Okay, now that the water's dry, look at that sparkle. Oh. I love that ink. So now for the next step, we're going to put the striped stencil down and I am going to mask it so that we don't get the ink anywhere else. So you're gonna go on, you could use painter's tape, you don't have to waste your washi. And I am going to tack it down the entire um, surface so that I don't get ink where I don't want ink. So I'm gonna go in here and put a coordinating color that will um, make the glitter really pop on the page. So I'm using red glitter. So I'm going to use red festive berries, distress oxide. So just going to mask it. I'm going to create a whole band of stripes. So when I'm done this, I will go lift the stencil up and move it and do it again. So I love these little blending tools. I'm just going to use this with the festive berries and in a um, linear motion so I don't push it underneath the stencil, I'm just gonna go in here and start to build that pattern. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm gonna remove the stencil and I'm going to clean this. So make sure you wash it with water and let that ink dry and we'll come and do the next step. Now that the ink layer is dried, we're gonna do the contained glitter. So I'm gonna position the stencil in the same spot as it was in when I put the ink on and I'm gonna mask it again with some washi tape, or if you have painter's tape, go for it. But you want to make sure you keep this as clean as possible uh, so the glitter uh, doesn't get everywhere. So in essence, what we're doing is making our own glitter paste. And I love it because then if you hate using glitter because it gets everywhere, this is the technique for you. So I'm just gonna put down some uh, matte acrylic gel. And what this is gonna do is be a binder. It's going to hold all that yummy glitter 
in something that keeps it contained and then it won't flake and spread everywhere. So once you get your medium down, you're just gonna take a red glitter or whatever color you wanna use. And I'm going to blend this with a palette knife to make my own glitter paste. I'm putting lots on here so I make sure that I have enough to spread across or down the page. You could also use this if you have any left over for a card background or a tag. So just blend this, and then we're going to pull it through the stencil. Reposition the stencil, probably good idea to clean your stencil in between, and then put the glitter on um, anywhere that you want to have this effect. So look at that. It looks milky right now, but this will dry completely clear and matte. So when you pull it, pull it in one direction so that you don't push it underneath your stencil. And I'm going to leave some open areas. I'm happy to see um, some of the areas of just the ink. So this is all you're going to do. Carry it down and create those glittery candy cane stripes. Now go ahead and let this completely dry and wait till you see the magic that's going to happen when the milkiness leaves the matte acrylic gel. So once this is dry, I'll show you how I throw together a really quick and fun layout. So now that's all dry and look how sparkly and pretty and no glitter transfer. I love the look of candy canes down the side. So the one thing I think would be fun to elevate what's going on on this side is I'm gonna just take one of these uh, scrapbook.com stamps and it's not a Christmas set, but I love this, such happy memories and I'm gonna stamp a pattern up the side. So I've loaded it on my stamp block. I'm going to use the same color, the Festive Berries Distress Oxide, and I'm just going to start to stamp a pattern kind of up and off the side of the candy cane stripes. So we'll start this one right at the stripes. Look how fun. And maybe um, I'm gonna skip so let's go up here. I'm gonna just do part of it, such happy. And then just kind of make that pop in and out all the way up, skipping a line. See, it just ties the red in and um, it looked a little bit flat. So I just like that added element. So just finish that all the way up and then we'll get to building the page. I love that effect the stamping added. It was that little bit of extra that the layout needed. And I have this beautiful photo of my daughter and a couple of mats that I've cut out of some Simple Stories paper. And I like to start positioning things on my layout before I commit with adhesive. So I'm just gonna kind of place some things down. And when I'm happy with it, then I can glue. So I love this snowflake paper from Crate Paper. Hey Santa, I'm just gonna put that up the side kind of on an angle. I think uh, it adds a nice border of pattern and color rather than just having all white background. And then of course, some little flag banners. It's one of my favorite things to do. The other thing I like is because I'm not sure where I wanna place things, I'm using these um, puffy stickers from Simple Stories and I like to add a little powder with the um, powder tool from EK Success or American Crafts. And I just like to add a little powder to the back of my embellishments so I can decide where to place them before I commit. So I like to do that and I've done it to all of these. Uh, I know it kind of defeats the purpose you probably think, right? Because there's glue on them, but I can re-adhere them. But I like the um, ability that gives me to decide where I wanna put my elements. So I have some stickers from the Simple Stories line as well. I love this North Pole line, the Simple Vintage from Simple Stories. So I'm adding some of those elements, some more of the puffy, and I'm gonna just do a little cluster down in this corner. Oops, maybe this guy too. I like that, 25. Kind of cluster like that. And then put the little holly piece just kind of position till you're happy. So that's what I'm gonna do here is just kind of lay some things out till I'm happy with that. And then I will commit with glue. 
So I'm just going to continue doing that. Okay, everything's glued down. I love it. I have lots of foam dots and the finishing touch so I can put the date and a little bit of journaling. It's just that little label sticker that ties that green in. So I can't wait to see what you guys create. Just adding a little bit of mixed media fun, just elevate your layouts and or cards or altered items, whatever you wanna do. I can't wait to see what you guys create with a little bit of holiday joy.